1946, most of us came back from the war and, and, and enrolled at KU. And Chancellor Malott was trying to figure out what to do about um, uh, memorializing the uh, war for those that died. There's a lot of people died. He says, I want a true memorial. He says, I and so in the next five years, he raised $400,000 with endowment. And they hired a firm in Kansas City to design the Campanile, which is a 120-foot high bell tower on top of Warrior Hill looking over Marvin Grove and the stadium and the Kansas River Valley and Potter's Lake. And the bells in there, are, they're 53 in number, the smallest one you can hold in your hand. The largest one of the 73, uh, 53 is seven tons. It was done by a 600-year-old foundry in, in England, Taylor Foundry, that they specialized in that. They delivered the bells and installed them. And of those, there's about 8,000 from cave that served, and 276 died. And each one of those that died is engraved in the granite inside the foyer. And the ringing of the bells is supposed to be a reminder of those that died in World War II. I was in the class of 50 that year, the building wasn't completely done yet, but there's barricades around it. But some of the veterans decided, well, we're watching down the hill. Why don't we walk through the campanile just for the hell of it? So they removed the barricades and started the procession and all went down the hill. And that started the tradition of walking under the campanile, not until you graduate. Never, never go through it until you graduate. That started a new tradition.